Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Look what we got right here. This is a brand new model by Capco Builders. Do y'all remember when I came here last year? This is, sorry, this is the Biloxi Manufacturer Housing Show. This whole line is a part of Capco, all their brand new models. And there was a house that was a part of their KB series. I'm gonna pop up the thumbnail. Do you remember that house? If you happen to remember it, do you remember how extravagant it was? Well, this is a model just like same, same series, totally different floor plan and all that but it's gonna be big just like that when we're we're looking at four bedrooms and two baths i'm going to show you a little bit of the exterior and then we're going to get on in i love the siding so this is that lp siding right here this is really nice stuff i'm starting to see a lot of this i actually met this company last night here at the show and they uh they're starting to really really hone in on the manufacturing home industry as far as this uh this lap siding that you see and I like it. I'm here for it. Let's see what we got on the back and we'll go ahead and get in. So yeah, we're gonna have that exterior siding all the way around the house. We have a back door down here. So this is a 32 by 80. I mean, this is a massive home, y'all. We got an electrical outlet right here beside the back door. I'm sorry, the wind is really kicking this morning. Let's see, make sure we don't have anything down here. Yeah, we don't have any doors or anything there. Let's circle back around get inside i think you're gonna really enjoy this one didn't really talk about it but i love the color of these shutters it matches our underpinning but it's kind of contrast with the siding there on the house what do y'all think all right so sit back relax we're finna get inside y'all don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe as well let's go home sweet home this floor plan is cool it's not you know sometimes you walk in it's just your standard living room kitchen over there whatever definitely not set up like that let's start out with our living room first i love the fireplace i'm gonna get you, give you a closer look at that So Capco is going to have two different series. They have the MD series and the KB series. And you can check them out online if you want and stick around at the end. I'll talk a lot more about all of that and try to provide as much information as I possibly can. So we have the real wood burning fireplace, but yeah, check it out. Got the brick here. And look at that view. Wow. Look at the size. I'm talking about the size of the islands way over there. I'm sorry. Getting ahead of myself as usual. Let's go ahead and get into the dining area. This is a big house. I'm gonna try to try to be as brief as I can in each spot. We've got our dining spot right here. You can tell, big area. We've got two chairs here, bench area, chair on each side. That goes into the main bedroom right there. We're definitely gonna get to that. Let's go ahead and step into the kitchen. I just love, I love this kitchen setup. I've seen it in, you know, different models over the years, but I love how it's kind of off here to the side, but you got these cabinets to wrap all the way around. You've got a huge kitchen island, but you still have plenty of walkthrough room. And let's see, we got two different cabinet colors and two different countertop options. And I'm sure there's others as well on this particular model or any of the KB series. Look, we got our, our uh, backsplash that goes to the top of the ceiling. Look at all the electrical outlets that we have. Got them all the way around through here. I'm tell you, you have a lot of crock pots going in this house. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have Thanksgiving over here, that's for sure. And so that's going to be the front section of the house. And then this is the side over here. But look at all the windows. Could you imagine having all these uh, blinds up on a real sunny, pretty day? We've got Whirlpool appliances, stainless steel appliances.
we've got a nice storage <laughs> this is a pantry this is a pantry you guys you definitely you just top off this kitchen with a pantry you've got to have a pantry all right so somebody just came in so i had to stop recording for a minute and i just went through there and let me tell you when you go in the main bedroom and in the bath and the closet all that's back behind the laundry oh my gosh it's crazy i know i'm sorry i I just had to, I had to give you a little spoiler alert, stay tuned. I tell you what, we'll come right here and I'll give you just a little look. I really want to take it from that other direction, but yeah, that's where your laundry room. Anyways, we're going to get to that. Let's get in these bedrooms first and then I'll head down there. Okay. We got carpet in the bedrooms. Some really nice carpet as well. You can tell just by the fluff. It's thick. We've got two more bedrooms and a bath. Let's go in this bath. Wow, this is a very spacious bathroom for a guest bathroom for sure. But this is a big house, so you're gonna you're gonna need a bigger bathroom like this for the kids or whoever you got living here with you. I didn't even open any cabinets in the kitchen. So here's our back bedroom. This is on the back section of the house, as you can tell. And all three bedrooms are really good size. And the closets too, let's check out this closet. Golly, yeah. I really didn't expect it to be this big. All right, so what do y'all think so far? Y'all definitely drop me a comment. I want to hear from you. But let me give you, I've been knowing, I've been giving you little, little looks, but just look right in there. See how all that goes all the way down. It's wild. I want to start off with the, with the bedroom though. Look at the setup in here. Got the same flooring that we had in the living room, kitchen and all that. And then across here, we have this huge tub. This is one of those tubs that's got the setup if you wanna put some decor around it or candles or whatever you need to do. And we also have not only the huge tub, but the huge shower. I think I said it last year when I was touring this model, uh, the KB model that was here. I was talking about everything was so huge. <laughs> 
And once again, it's just because you know you're 32 by 80, you got a lot of square foot. And I love this uh, tile. I love how these tiles are so big. Um, I'm sure there's different options as far as colors and stuff as always, but they took it to the ceiling and you got a lot of room in this shower. The shower's big in itself. And then down from the bath, we have a huge walk-in closet. And we've got the little island in here. It's got drawers, got a cabinet door, and then plus, I'm just thinking it, it's a great top right here to put stuff on, you know, uh, maybe you're wearing the next day or something like that. It's just my thoughts. Maybe you wouldn't want to do that at all. That's just kind of what I was thinking. And then all of this here, but then overall the closet itself is really big. And then we come into this laundry area, which I'll tell you what, it has definitely a lot of square footage as well. We've got the back door that I showed you on the exterior. We have, our huge sink in here, little countertop space right there. They got the dog bowl setting out. I mean, <laughs> maybe Lucky's gonna get some extra treats today. We got the spot for the washer and dryer. You got some cabinets up here. Great to be able to store all your detergents and everything like that. But then, I come here in the corner. Look at the amount of room that we have. This area up here, I mean, you could do a lot of different things here. Furnace is there and then the water a heater panel is behind this door and then so look if you come out of there just like i showed you a little bit ago you come and then you're back into the living room and i mean so just think how much you got going on back here it's it's a wild floor plan y'all let me know what you think i'm finna get into more information on this particular model thank you so much for touring along with me hope i did a decent job i've been shooting a lot of videos here at the show sometimes i feel like a don't really showcase them that well because so much is going on but anyways if you will share this video i would appreciate that a lot don't forget to drop a like and subscribe okay let's get into the nitty-gritty right here you guys i just want to talk about a few things um estimated pricing and stuff like that and then i'll be done let me start out by saying the videos come out tuesday thursday saturday night 6 45 central time we post several homes from this show already so if you hadn't seen them previously go to the videos tab on the channel or on the page and you'll be able to see them. Okay, so this home is by Cabco Builders and uh, don't wanna confuse you with Cabco. That's a totally different company, okay? Cabco is K-A-B-C-O. They're an independent, um, well, yeah, they're independent. They're family owned. It's a great family. They've been building homes for years, years. And they're out of Boaz, Alabama is where these homes are manufactured. And what they do is, let me just break it down in case this is your first time watching. They build these homes in the plant. They sell them to retailers, just like what this show was set up for, for retailer stuff to come look in, place orders. Um, so they have a list of dealers across the country. Uh, well, they kind of cover their area. If you want to find out more about their dealers, where they're at, check out their website. It's cabcobuilders.com. You can learn more about them, their retailers that they have, and see if there's any uh, retailers local to you. What they do is they ship these out to the retailers. You, as a consumer, would go and look at these homes, purchase, order one from a retailer. They would handle everything as far as setting it up for you, um, all the stuff that needs to be done for our septic water and power, if you need that, um, uh, all the things that come with setup and service at home. So what I try to talk about, probably not near enough, but it's always great to do business with someone that's local to you. That way they can handle everything for you from the process. They, if they're around from your county or close, they know your county, they know the, the regulations, they know everything. And then also they're able to service you as a customer a lot better than, you know, somebody that's several states away. That's just my recommendation and my opinion solely. That's all it is. But yeah, so that's kind of how it works. This house right here is a 32 by 80. We're looking close, getting close to 2,400 square foot. So a massive home with lots of different options. And this is a part of their KB series. 
They have several other models under their KB series, and you can take a lot of things from different models and apply them to each house. When I say that, I'm talking far as like cabinet colors, countertops, backsplash, sh uh, shower tile, uh, the lab siding, for instance, stuff like that, that you can put on them and you kind of dress them up how you would like to. I think that's it. I think that's all I really wanted to say. I have information in the description that could help you as well. Uh, let's just lastly get into some of that estimated retail pricing. Now, there's a lot of unknowns that uh, we don't know because this home was set up at a show. Obviously, we don't know what retailer it's being had, gonna have to be freighted to. Uh, we don't know the um, location you as the, the end user, the end buyer is where you're at. So we don't know those freight charges. We don't know the county fees, regulations, codes, and all that kind of stuff. The house has to be built to and set up to and all that good stuff. Uh, then also, lastly, the options, like that lap siding, that's an upcharge. You could easily get this house without that. And I think it'd save you five, six, seven thousand $7,000. I'm not exactly sure how much, but something like that. And so just for instance, you know, to be able to cut your price, you can do things like that. Or obviously you can go all out and get everything. I'm talking, you can go bananas. Actually, maybe don't go banana, but but go real as close as you can. Here's bananas. Here's where you go. Okay, let's get into. Okay, sorry, getting carried away. This will be for at the time of recording. This will be arranged because of all of that that I just addressed. Here you go. Okay, so I think I covered everything. If I did, and you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. I'll try to reply as much as I can. Uh, Y'all, if you haven't checked out our Instagram page, it's Chances Home World. It's that on every platform, by the way. Check me out on there. I try to stay really consistent on there with the stories and, and showing y'all what's going on. And then obviously we got some reels and all that kind of stuff where you can see versions of the tours. Okay, I'm going to head out. God bless you all. Thank you so much for the continued support. I'll see you on the next video.